Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Brian with DD214 Transport. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. That way the next time I update, you'll get a little ding. All right, so listen, a uh, pretty serious subject today. I'm going off the cuff with it because you can't read anything about it. You just know. All right, let me give you a little background. I purchased TD6. I'm dispatching, learning to dispatch, so I'm in contact with a lot of brokers every day. All right, um, we're going to talk today about cheap freight, cheap freight rates, and I'm going to tell you now that with the influx of hot shots out there, the freight rates are tumbling. The reason they are tumbling is because drivers do not know their worth. Does that make sense? If you don't know what you're worth and what your cost to operate is, you just grabbed a truck and a trailer and you're running out trying to grab a piece of the pie, you're killing yourself. You're killing the industry. You're being used. You know who's making the money? The broker. But they're charging the same rates and or the shipper that's who's making the money not you what are you doing you're tearing up your truck you're tearing up your trailer you're tearing up your butt you're, you're away from home there's no sense in this people let me tell you the story and I'm gonna come down listen I'm a little pissy about this I'm gonna tell you right now because I actually was told this and for my brothers and sisters out there the people that I'm trying to help get in this business and make this happen I was extremely offended extremely offended mm. take a deep breath and a cup of coffee please <clears throat> so let me slow down a little bit caught me on a little bit of an emotional day because I'd talked to this person two people back to back first person I talked to was a female don't know her name can't remember don't care she was running 10,000 pounds 600 miles for $450 and would not budge on the rate. Now you know as well as I do, if you pick up 10,000 pounds for most non-CDL hotshots, for most non-CDL hotshots, you're loaded. That means you're running a direct, a direct route to have that delivered. Well, I said to the lady, I said, well, that's crazy. I said, uh, I don't know. I said, who's running this freight at this rate? She said, I got a couple guys running this stuff all day long every day. I said, well, my guys aren't going to run this. And they said, well, that's because you're smart. That's what she said to me. She said, you can't fix stupid. If they'll run it for that, I'll run them for that. Now what this is, is somebody who grabbed a truck and a trailer and is out there thinking that they're making money at less than a dollar a mile. Do not take freight for less than a dollar a mile. That is freaking insane, people. All right. So here was the next scenario. <clears throat> this was a gentleman. The freight was 800 miles. 800 miles. 10,000 pounds. 800 miles, 10,000 pounds coming out of Maine. Okay? Coming out of Maine. 
I'm going to break this one way down for you, so sit, sit tight a second. Uh, I don't know why I'm so <clears throat> about this, but what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing out there is people just grabbing trucks and trailers and doing the, doing it. Just, I'll take whatever you got for whatever you want to pay me and go on. And it's just destroying the industry. Cutting your own throat is what's happening with these guys. They're, they won't be around long, but the question is, because the rest of us survive while they're out there killing everybody. All right, so, again, oh yeah, Wusaba. Okay, so, listen, 800 miles, 10,000 pounds. Again, for a non-CDO hotshot, you are full. 800 miles, $700. $700 for 800 miles. Less than a dollar a mile. So, <clears throat> my argument was, my argument was this. Basically, I said, well, that's crazy. I said, nobody's going to run that freight like that. He said, and I quote, they run it every day. So what does that tell you? The next quote he said, and this is a true quote. The, 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 the next thing he said was, had, a lot of, had a lot of truth to it. But he said, it, well, it just depends on how bad you want to get out of Maine. Knowing that there's nothing coming out of Maine. So you better make sure you get your money going into Maine. Now, luckily we did, but I had the opportunity to talk to these people and, you know, I learned something. So basically, they're going to hold you hostage in Maine, big weights, no money. And I told the guy point blank, I said, well, there comes a time when it's cheaper to deadhead and save your equipment than it is to drag his freight out of Maine for free, basically. So what I did was I broke down my situation using my numbers. Not your numbers. Your numbers will vary, but my numbers. 800 miles with 10,000 pounds on the back, it's going to take me two tanks of fuel. <clears throat> To run those 800 miles. Now listen, up in the northeast, fuel was much more expensive. It's like 375, 360 a gallon. Okay, but just for argumentative purposes, I used three dollars a gallon. Okay, so two tanks. I got two. I got a 50 gallon tank. It's going to take two tanks. So I'm going to spend $300 in fuel. Okay, so you can't run this in one day. So you're going to end up having to get a hotel. Conservatively, I said 80 bucks for a hotel. <clears throat> now, let me tell you what I do know coming off of this run. Is you'll have $100 in tolls. No doubt in my mind. Now, uh, you're going to have $5 in diff, approximately the usage of the diff, and then you've got to pay your maintenance and repair reserve. So 800 miles is going to be $80. When you break this all down, guys, and you pull out your taxes, your taxes are 27 bucks. And when you get it all said and done, you profited $108. Okay? Uh, now, it took, we're going to estimate that it was a half hour to load it, a half hour to unload it, and you would take about 13 and a half hours to drive it. 
So at that rate, you rented yourself, yourself, what are you worth? What is your truck worth an hour? What is your trailer worth an hour? You rented your company assets to this broker for $7.44. Round it up, $7.45 an hour. Guys, I'll go to McDonald's for $15 an hour. Hell, I'll get benefits. I'm calling out there to all hot shop drivers. If you do not know somebody that's a hot shop driver, send this to them anyway. Get this word out. Stop taking cheap freight, guys. You're killing yourself. For $7 an hour, you're going to risk your life? Really? Either get smart and figure out how to do this business and make a profit or get out of the business because you're going out of the business anyway. Your truck's going to be tore up and, or your trailer and you're not going to have the money to repair it. Now, I know I'm kind of standing here bitching and I am bitching because I sit and I watch it every day. These brokers sitting there laughing at you, laughing at me, like we got people running this stuff every day, every day. Who is running less than a dollar a mile freight? Guys, you know I love you, man, and I wanna help everybody I can. So pass this thing around. Stop taking cheap freight. Listen, I'm going to smile because, you know, good, bad, and different, we are blessed. And I am blessed. And I'm blessed that you're seeing this. Thank you. If you need help getting started, reach out to Mary, reach out to Alan for ELD, or reach out to Larry for factoring. we got all that stuff set up where you guys are going to get something out of the deal. So, uh, yeah, if you need anything, reach out. We appreciate you. All you first responders, all you vets, we know we love you. If you need anything, I'm Brian with DD214 Transport. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Have a great weekend. Cheers.